Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Nasumwagi with Fight for Kidneys. Let's go back to my last channel, what we discussed. Last channel. Uh, in the last channel, we talked about the risk factors. That is, um, the risk factors for kidney disease. That's high blood pressure, high blood sugar. Today is another bright day. And we'll be looking at things that we can do to prevent high blood sugar, high blood pressure. And if those ones are in control, we can prevent kidney damage. As most people know, lifestyle, that's the food we eat. It's a contributing factor for the kid, uh, high blood pressure and high blood sugar. All over the world, we know food is playing a key role in our overall diet, uh, in our overall health. So people all over the world have come together and talked about how can we change? What are the food can we talk about? What are the food can we encourage people to eat that can prevent high blood sugar and high blood pressure? And they have come with one word, dash diet. What does dash diet mean? It just means dietary approach to stop hypertension and high blood sugar. So just remember, dash diet. And across the board, people have felt that dash diet can help decrease blood pressure decrease blood pressure, lower risk for heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, and at the same time, reduce risk for kidney, form uh, kidney stone formation. And what is DASH diet? What exactly is in the DASH diet or dietary approach? DASH diet is commonly high in fruits, vegetables, low-fat dairy products, whole grains, fish, poultry or chicken, beans, seeds and nuts, and it's low in salt and sodium, added sugar, sweets, fats, and red meats. You still can have some red meats, but it has to be in a raw portion. You have to monitor how much you can eat. Also, they feel that when we look at the DASH diet, it all talks about plant-based diet. What is a plant-based diet? All it means is getting all these nutrients from plants from the foods that we get from the farm. The meat, eating more plant-based foods such as vegetables and grain in place of animal-based foods such as red meat may help prevent and slow the progression of chronic kidney disease, type two diabetes and high blood pressure and heart disease. Yes, we gotta do something. We have said, that one out of three people are at risk for kidney disease. And one out of seven are already suffering, suffering from kidney failure. They might have mild, moderate to severe. What still can we do when we know that sometimes we will get those foods that are processed? But what are we supposed to look into those foods? That we have to make sure they are low in phosphorus, low in sodium, and low in potassium. And also the sugar content, the fat content. It's very, very important. And everywhere, at least in the US, they have advocated for the fast food companies to make sure they are giving you the, new, uh, the, the content of all these things, all these electrolytes, all of the potassium, the sodium, in the food they are giving you. If it's a hamburger, they are telling you how much fat, how much potassium, how much sodium is in this food. 
We also know we have countries where they believe in high sodium. You know, it's the sh shot shaker. You know, they are always shaking. But how can we supplement that? If you live in a country where they believe the food have to have a certain amount of salt, you can use herbs to make that to add that taste in your food. And herbs, they are all plant based, and most of the herbs are healthy for us. So, we know as much as we all can try. Unfortunately, there are people or some people will end up with kidney failure. That's the unfortunate part. But it's also important to know that we as a person, you have to say, I tried, I did this. You cannot sit back without doing something and say hey i did this but now i didn't do I, I did this by my kidney field yes it's better that, that you tried than just sitting back and not trying but let's see you are the unfortunate number that happened to find out their kidneys have failed and you're told you may need support we're gonna look in this month of march we are telling people who have whose kidneys have failed kidney failure is not a death sentence there are so many options out there that you can seek, that can assist you to live a thriving life. Two options that are there, if your kidneys have failed, it's where you may be told that you need dialysis. Or through dialysis, because kidney transplant cannot happen overnight, you also can get a kidney transplant. That's where that means somebody gives you a kidney or you get a you you are put on a waiting list and we'll talk in depth about kidney transplant and what you need to know about kidney transplant also we'll talk in depth about the overall steps of dialysis what does it entails because that's something it's one word but one word that compromises uh, uh not compromise it involves a lot of things a lot of changes in your life a lot of changes with your family with your jobs and so many things that entails that comes through when you're told that you have to have dialysis but what does dialysis means it means this is a treatment that removes waste and extra fruits in your body when your kidneys are no longer able to do so effectively this is where it's an artificial kidneys that filters your blood. And basically you can do this in two options. You can do it in a dialysis center and you can do it at home. And let me just say there, if you're watching this video for the first time and you have been told you need dialysis, please talk to your doctor about available options. Right now, the research has shown that most people doing dialysis at home are living better life. They are living a thriving life. They are living, they are enjoying their life. They are living a quality life and they are feeling empowered because you're doing it or your family member is doing it for you. It also gives an opportunity for your family members, like I said in the last channel, some one channel back, that sometimes it's when people see what their loved ones is going through that they take, they see it and they say, hey, I have to do this myself. I have to take care of myself so that I, I might not be there. I might not go through what my mother is going through or what my sister is going through or what my aunt or what my husband or my wife is going through. So this month, again, is Kidney Awareness Month and we are here to fight for kidneys. We are here to encourage people to take actions, advocate for their own health. Let them know that taking those preventive measures, eating healthy, making sure you're not smoking, making sure your blood pressure is in control, your, your, uh, your high blood pressure is in control, your blood sugar and your blood pressure is in control, making sure you're talking with your doctor if you have some prescribed uh, pain medication because we know pain medication can also interfere with your with your with your um, with your kidneys making sure you're asking your doctor for checkups 
advocating for yourself because we know prevention is better than cure and the earlier you better the earlier you take actions the more you you you, you become your own voice and we are here to support you all over the world as nephrology team as uh, healthcare people working in uh in renal care we are here to fight with you and say life can be different it can be done in a different way you still can live a thriving life thank you so much keep uh subscribe thumbs up and uh till next time let's keep fighting for our kidneys let's let three people know about kidney disease about kidney health and how to live a thriving life if you have been diagnosed with kidney failure till next time thank you